thank you very much for the kind introduction from uh, Professor Laure. And I'm in the Arcade Space from the University of Tokyo. And uh, I, I would like to discuss, uh, talk today about our business and also focusing on the maritime situational awareness technology uh, using our satellite constellations. So I'm, a, as a Professor a, explained about us, yeah, we founded in the 2018 uh, using the technology of the University of Tokyo uh, Nakasuka uh, Lab because they uh, developed the first CubeSat in the world and also the many satellites. And we are uh, now uh, here, we put uh, 60 uh, employees, but already more than 80 almost. And it's still expanding as our company. And uh, we raised the fund, it's a capital, uh, 2000, uh, no, sorry, almost more than 20 million dollars. And uh, so our company is designing, manufacturing, and operational services for spacecraft and ground station also. And they're developing the software and the applications also. So, as I mentioned, the University of Tokyo is developed by Professor Nakasaka's team in 2003. He, he worked the world first CubeSat. And the, after that, after that, they make the, the other remote sensing satellite, also the, uh, like this, the, for the space exploration. Space Science Satellite, Tokyo, and also the more bigger satellite like uh, for the remote sensing. And making the, this 3U cube that is the uh, size of the two liters PET bottles, and also using the, this 3U and the 6U satellite for the lunar exploration also. So our companies are using the, this technology and uh, for the industrialized uh, commercialized uh, this uh, satellite technology. So, our mission is uh, using the, this laboratory level technology with satellites, but we, for the, our sustainable space use uh, utilization and the business, making the, this satellite constellation. And not just low Earth orbit for the utilization like remote sensing, but also for the pushing the edge of human, like uh, for lunar exploration and uh, Mars infrastructure also. So, this is our uh, history also, because the University of Tokyo uh, participated in the w working with JAXA, making the Sony first satellite. Oh, and uh, this team uh, entered, joined us as our company. So, now we are uh, operating the, this Sony satellite together with the University of Tokyo, JAXA, and Sony. So, and also the, this is uh, Eclaus, is our uh, our team also uh, now operating the six, this is six U CubeSat. This is also developed by Jackson and Tokyo because this is started before we uh, established our company. Established our company, but this is satellite was launched in 2022, uh, last November, with uh, Artemis One rocket. Is uh, because the Artemis One rocket is very famous for the manned space vehicle for the lunar, but uh, with this Artemis One uh, uh, mission, uh, there are 10 CubeSats. Uh, but more than half of the, this CubeSat was lost at a very early stage. But our this CubeSat it, it w was survived until, uh, uh, until last month we, are, we were uh, operating this satellite and with full success. Now we are uh, facing that little bit of difficulties, the loss of uh, this satellite. But uh, we are now trying to recover this. So, and uh, we, uh, our engineer also participated, uh, the, uh, not participated, our engineer was making this satellite when they are studying the University of Tokyo. So, uh, they after that joined us and now we are operating together with the University of Tokyo and JAXA. So, and this one is our uh, main uh, product, like a 3U CubeSat, uh, 10 centimeters and 30 centimeters size. This is for the uh, demonstration satellite, for the, uh, and then deployed by International Space Station. And uh, 
launched by Dragon, uh, Falcon 9 of SpaceX, and uh, he launched in January, last January. And uh, this is for the IoT data collecting uh, is satellite, which was stored on board. They are st uh, collecting the da data of the devices IoT in the ground, installing the, our satellite or forwarding for the ground station. So this is our, this is the, now we are also, we are operating and uh, conducting demonstrations of these IoT collecting services. So these are uh, for our main achievement. And uh, so our first satellite is satellite called the Rwanda in Africa. And uh, this optimal one, and also the uh, Sony satellite. And this is uh, for us and for Taiwan, I think it's a very, very symbolic and uh, emblematic for us also. The big project is online SAT, is a Taiwan Space Agency satellite. Now we are making this bus system. And uh, this sensor, optical sensor, was developed in Taiwan. So this is our joint project is, uh, with the TASA, the Taiwan Space Agency. So like this, our, our work is not, uh, we are developing a satellite constellation is for the lower orbit for the uh, IoT communications and the Earth remote sensing. And also we are now making a satellite for the lunar uh, infrastructure and also the, some space science exploration, comet exploration missions. So, but we are now, today we talk about the maritime infrastructure, VDS system. But, so uh, this is just, we are working together like with Chile and uh, Taiwan. And now we have to change the te 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 TASA and uh, with Africa, because when we start as uh, this CubeSat, it is, we open the, for the more a opportunity for not just developed country like uh, or uh, space developed country like uh, United States, European states. So we starting with, uh, working together with more developing country or some emerging countries. So and we have uh, adapted or uh, selected by Japanese government Minister of the Economy and Trading Industry. So we started the semi mass production or semi mass customization of the this six cubesat for the IoT and also uh, high resolution optical camera and also the VHL you know, for maritime domain, maritime uh, digitalization satellite and also the lunar infrastructure. So uh, the, I will skip because we have to know more about the uh, maritime issues today. So, but this is the uh, result of the Rwandan satellite, fast satellite. So and we are, uh, as I mentioned, we are developing a satellite and also operating. So we established our, our ground station here in the Shizuoka. Sorry, in Japanese, but uh, this uh, 3.9 meters uh, parabola antenna. And this is uh, S band, X band, and K band also. Uh, so for our first ground station. So, and uh, I, uh, today I will talk about uh, this VHF RF antenna for maritime issues with this. So, uh, how many people uh, know about the VDES or have ever? So, oh, okay, oh, uh, because VDES is a very, very a new, uh, new, how to say, the standard is, is discussing with the IMO, like maritime organization, international organization. Because you know AIS, AI says the automatic identification system of the vessels. So this is the new next generation of the AIS system using the satellite infrastructure. So now we are uh, we in Japan uh, established a new VDS satellite consortium with IHI, like a heavy industry company, the, uh, uh, making vessels, shipping ship, ship, ship building. And the ship line, like a Mitsui ship, uh, MOL, Mitsui ship line, and also the like a Furuno and the JRC is a devices for the maritime uh, for the vessels. And also Mitsui Trading, and also Sasakawa Peace Foundation, and the Nippon Foundation is supporting the new this project. So VDS is uh, as I mentioned, 
Next generation AIS system. AIS, you know, the automated identification. This, but this is a, a upgrading uh, the communication for a 30 times higher data rate than AIS, and also not just uh, one-way communication, because AIS just best is emitting and getting by the ground station. So, and also the very important point, AIS was not designed for political data by satellite. So, of course, uh, many companies already getting the, this data using for the maritime domain awareness, but sometimes it's, uh, this system is not designed. So, now, uh, Japanese government and Japanese uh, team uh, suggests for the IMO and ITU new VDS con communication via satellite for improving the maritime safety and security on global scale and support real-time navigation communication. Because why, uh, uh, I, I don't know today the many people for, from the maritime uh, issues, because you know that uh, normally the car is can uh, easily stop the braking, but sometimes a big vessels is difficult to control, so it is very important uh, for the uh, emitting the like AIS and uh, for the like uh, uh, how navigate. So it is very important signals. And the uh, original AIS concept is uh, just, uh, as I mentioned, just uh, satellite, uh, just emitting the signal using the GPS, just ID and the vessel name and position and course and speed, just it. But now, uh, and also the many challenges for the using of this AIS data. Uh, our Japanese government, JAXA, also some uh, Indonesian uh, space agency, and also now uh, Singapore University also, they made the, their AIS yes, uh, and now with the satellite. And the v AIS just using the, uh, uh, just collecting, but now we are, Digital, uh, digital information and using the more uh, channel for the VDES and the communication the VDE, VDE and AISM. So uh, this is a VDES is a idea for the uh, using the AIS and the more application specific message uh, services and also VDE. VDE there is a terrestrial VDE, ship and ship or ship by boat, and also VDE for satellite utilization. This VDE is a two-way communication between ship or, uh, uh, and also by satellite. And so we are now discussing the make using the, this VDE system for the maritime safety and the more new services of the ship management on the, so, uh, and also the, for the tracking the some uh, shipping services or some like a fishery uh, control and a fishery ground control also. So what is the comparison between conventional AIS and satellite videos? What I, I mentioned the all, not one only that uh, by direction interactive communication is possible and uh, also the data rate also uh, much higher than uh, AIS but not uh, like a broadband, They're very, very narrow, but uh, it is good for using the downlink, uplink, and also uh, used for satellite expand communication lens because uh, so we can use uh, this uh, system uh, globally, not just the uh, uh, coastal zone. So we are now discussing making new services using the, this global tracking system. And also the data restriction rate is low. So, it's uh, congested places, it's, I think it's improving that because sometimes AIS data is difficult by data collision. And uh, also the, uh, sorry, I, I have to check it out. Okay. And also the uh, VDES, uh, no, sorry, AIS now is just big vessels, like uh, more than uh, 300 tons or uh, 500 tons big vessels. Is but uh, because uh, AIS not designed for the satellite uh, satellite utilization, but 
we, now, our previous satellite constellation is uh, designing for the, using a low Earth orbit. It, normally, uh, like a VMS or the AIS, or, no, or the other communication system for the vessels, using the middle uh, uh, Earth orbit, or, or, uh, mid, uh, or more higher. So, uh, devices uh, for the vessel have to be, because more it, it is necessary to use more power, but if we, our radius is lower so orbit, like uh, 500 kilometers uh, out to the height, so uh, this can be downsizing the this transmitter or the devices. So we can use for the small ship on the fishing boat, and also the, we are now discussing more like a buoy or some fishery devices. So this idea, and uh, sometimes the location information fraud or some of the security issue because uh, AIS sometimes easily spoof the dislocation data and sometimes uh, very open. But if we use a VDE uh, for the some, uh, some, uh, sending the more secure and the crypto uh, data using some uh, distribution for the some key signal by the other channel, this uh, we can use uh, this VDE. So, AIS uh, and VDES is enabled to two-way communication, provides encryption for communications, and has been designed to operate via satellites. It's seamless and globally, and they have become shared in crowded sea areas. And also, uh, uh, VDES allows the integration of the other communication systems. And uh, VDES facilities of autonomous facilitates the autonomous uh, navigation systems. So. Now we, Japan, uh, promoting the, this uh, development of the VDA, v, VDA system. And uh, so for the important point is the AI, the VDA is the next AI system. We, uh, this is compatible. We, we are using the uh, current AIS signal also. So, and uh, we can use uh, this uh, collect the AIS data, but uh, and also, as I mentioned, using the like AIS systems for the big data and uh, for uh, uh, we can use like a MDA maritime domain awareness because some vessels is illegal and uh, unreported, unregular uh, vessels, and also we can uh, detect and uh, foresee how these vessels is. Uh, Moving, floating, and uh, sometimes this is a maritime domain awareness issue. And also now we are starting the developing the new technology, like uh, detecting the uh, non-VH radio signals, or uh, because any vessel, for example, like illegal or unreported, unregulated vessels, using the not not just non of course. Uh, are not the VDS, but the other VHF signals. So any vessels using uh, uh, some uh, no AI signal, we are detecting. You know the Hawkeye 360. So we are uh, developing for the, this. So we can control them with AIS or VDS vessels and no VDS vessels. This is. Uh, our idea, or uh, not just us, uh, the like uh, uh, United States, the uh, other countries. So we are making, and uh, I, sorry, our idea, the future of VDS. Of course, uh, we are now making the more than 30 satellites in future for the covering, covering whole global our uh, planet with uh, 60 or 100 satellites. But we are uh, already <coughs> selected by Japanese government for making the, this video satellite for demonstrations of uh, 20 or 30 satellites in this, this uh, six years. So, but as I mentioned, not just large vessels. Our idea is uh, expanding for usage in the small boat or some buoy or for the new uh, systems for. Uh, digitalization of the maritime uh, situations. So, and uh, of course, there are many chances. Sometimes, uh, 
uh, some, uh, of course, the first priority is uh, for more safety, the anti collision, or for the more optimal, uh, uh, optimize uh, this navigation routing. And also, that now uh, vessels have to report uh, the CO2 emission of the vessel. So, sometimes we, we can get the, uh, with VDES some uh, logger of the navigation. For, so, for calculating the CO2 emission. And uh, sometimes uh, we can monitor the situation of the engine or the, the other parts of the satellite. So, so normally vessels, when after the stopping the boat or shipyard checking and uh, all the other parts, that this is a uh, there are many many time loss. This is a loss of the uh, operation. But if we uh, reporting the situation of the machines, so when this boat is uh, reaching the port or shipyard, already there are some new parts for the. Uh, how to say, uh, repair or, uh, and also the, some uh, information of the crew members for the port, so facilitate the, uh, sorry, facilitate the, their documentation, and uh, so now still we are discussing how can we use this with the system, so for the new services, new, so it's very important, As, and also the sometimes fishery boat. Already there are uh, uh, for fishery boats the controls are like a VMS uh, vessel man, uh, monitoring system. But this vessel monitoring system is using like a Inmarsat. So some and uh, why vessel monitoring system not to use uh, AIS because it is uh, not secure and uh, the other problem. But we believe that VDS can solve uh, these uh, issues. And uh, I think we would like to expand more utilization for the fishery ground management and the fishery in space uh, for the uh, monitoring. So, and uh, our idea, the, I mentioned that we will make that uh, 20 or 30 with a satellite, but uh, it is a uh, VDS is a uh, standard uh, design defined by like ITU and IMO and also IARA. So this open uh, network. So now who uh, investment and development of this uh, video satellite is uh, like a Denmark company and a Norwegian company and, uh, and Japan. So we are not uh, enclosing just us. We are, our idea is sharing this asset and collaborating together for the new maritime services. So. We also the, uh, suggesting that our uh, partners, because we are making, the, as I mentioned, the standard bus system and with the satellite. So if who want to uh, have their own with the satellite or satellite, we are like a uh, uh, provider, this space like a uh, hosted payload for their mission. And we can share the, your with the satellite and our with the satellite for like uh, a data roaming or service, uh, collaborative services in the world. So we are discuss, starting a discussion with uh, your, uh, North European countries also. And some, already Singapore uh, launched the previous <coughs> by, this is still by university. So, but we, we would like to start as uh, this uh, possible cooperation. And, uh, as I mentioned, VDES is uh, defined by IMO, IPU, but just this AIS, some uh, maritime issues, communication. But for the commercial use, still, we are discussing like IARA, and we have to discuss with WRC, this is for the uh, radio communication uh, coordination. So for that, it is important we starting the development and demonstration project using this system, how useful for the uh, maritime issues. So, and we have to in, in institutionalize this new system. So, it is very important our international cooperation. So, this is a, and a, why we decide of making the, this with the satellite? Because with the satellite is very, very simple. Uh, like a uh, satellite itself is uh, like a just like IoT satellite, but of course, they have to 
deployed the big VHF antenna. And the uh, key, key the components like SDR, a software defined uh, communication systems. So, but it is easy to, we can downsize satellites, not very high cost like a uh, Iman Sat or Elysium. So, this is, uh, we have a chance or uh, opportunity to collaborate with the other countries. So, we are suggesting like this is sharing the satellites or uh, this capacities. So, we already, calculating on how can we deploy these satellites. So, but this is a so new, new, new our challenge for the new future of the maritime situation awareness infrastructure with the biggest satellites. So, thank you very much.